trivia the Z and my friends and today it's KGB Imperials by the way I got the last ever 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 gameplay of black ops hopefully you'll ever see from me and uh, it's not one of my best but it is one pretty close to it um, but I we're not gonna talk about the gameplay we're not gonna talk about battlefields we're actually gonna talk about what I did this weekend this past weekend um, I actually went to Comic-Con now. I didn't know I was going when I did a commentary. I found out like an hour or two later that my friend got his tickets. And long story short, I went to Comic-Con, had a great time, and I want to talk about what I played there. I played a couple of games, um, not a couple, mm, yeah, a couple of games. Uh, I played about like six, and uh, I'll tell you what they are. I played Star Wars The Old Republic, which is the new MMORPG coming out from Bioware. Uh, which is based off like the Star Wars universe, all that stuff. Um, and um, I also played Prototype 2. I forget the name of the developer, but it's pretty much Prototype 1, and uh, I'll get onto it later a little bit. I played Uncharted 3, which was multiplayer. Um, what else did I play? I played. I'm trying to think right now. Um, I was going to play The Darkness 2, but you had to be 17 and older, and they were actually checking IDs, and I didn't have an ID on me to show that I was 16. They would probably wouldn't let me in anyways. Um, I'll probably remember it a little bit, uh, but I don't remember it right now, so we'll talk about the games that I played. Um, so, Star Wars The Old Republic was, uh, we got to play 15 minutes of PvP. And I had a blast doing it, many people don't know that I am a huge WoW fanatic. I play it on my free time, when I'm not, you know, playing, like, COD or all those other games. I'm pretty much playing MMOs on my computer. Now, I love WoW, and it's pretty much the same as WoW with just Star Wars, and that makes it even better, in my opinion. So, I'm getting that when it comes out, um, and let's go to Prototype 2. Uh, Prototype 2, we played a new game mode that I think is new to the game, which is a wave-based game mode called Rampage. And, of course, it wasn't actually wave-based, because you only had a minute and 30 seconds on it. You could either play the campaign or Rampage. The campaign would probably get you a little bit longer than Rampage did. But I wanted to try out the new game mode. It pretty much is a wave-based kind of deal. With, like, points, like, stack up. Every time, like, you get a kill, you get, like, a point or something. It was really weird and fun. Uh, I wish it was a little bit longer. That would have made it so much more enjoyable. But, of course, all the good things got to come to an end, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, then Uncharted 3. Well, actually, I thought was one of the funnest games I've ever played. I honestly thought that if I would get a, I would get a PS3 just for it. I don't know, but maybe that's a little bit pushing it, but yeah, no, it, it was that fun that I would probably do that. I just thought that, wait a minute, this game is great. It really was that great. I, if I, you don't, I'm not a big PS Sony fan after the PS2, I, you know, I discovered Microsoft, and I thought that was way better than, uh, honestly, the, uh, PS3. Because PS3 was like 400 bucks at the time, and I don't care about it. It's free. Free online. Honestly, I'm not going to start a console war or anything, but I honestly don't like the PS3. That's why I don't have it. Um, I feel that the Xbox is not supreme, but anyways, let's, let's get off this. Let's get off this. Um, but it was fun. I, you know, first time actually touching a Sony controller in like six years. I kind of wasn't on my, uh, my game, you know. So it was pretty good, but it was fun. I played it. It was, I had a blast. Um, if I would get it, if I had a PS3, I would totally get it. It was just that great. Um, so I'm trying to remember what the other game was. There was a lot of things there. I got a lot of things. Uh, I got a cool, cool stuff. I got an Uncharted 3 T-shirt. I got an uh, actual giveaway code, uh, code, which I might give away because I was gonna sell it. But you know what? I'll give it away. I guess. Uh, maybe. I'll give away the code. You gotta leave a comment, maybe on this video. I don't know. We'll maybe we'll discuss this later on because I'm not gonna use it. I don't have Uncharted. <laughs> I don't even have a PS3, so I can't even use it. So we're, we'll probably do that. Let's we'll give it away or something. Um, or s I wanted to sell it, but probably not gonna sell it. Um, Comic Con was great. Um, it also there's a lot of hot girls there, and you know you may not suspect it, but a lot of these nerdy girls are pretty smoking. But <laughs> let's not like go into like how hot they were. There were some tens there. There were some tens. But it doesn't matter. Uh, 
there were a lot of fun things to do at Comic Con. There was a whole entire section that you could buy like comics. You could talk to like the people who made them. There was a Walking Dead thing, and I I love The Walking Dead. If you guys didn't know, The Walking Dead on AMC is one of the best series of all time. Because honestly, zombies, TV show, series. How what else could get better? I love zombie movies, but you know what? I like an hour long TV show. That makes it so much better. Um. So that's that. I just uh, just saw the Walking Dead was amazing. Uh, then there was this booth thing that was called Azura's Rats, which is a game coming out in the summer, I think. I have no clue when it's coming out. It's coming out in 2012 though. And pretty much they had like this glass thing where you would like put you, your body into, and you would, not you put your body into. You would go into it, and it's pretty much like a scream meter. You would scream at the top of your lungs. And if you got a hundred, you would put it get put into a raffle for like a hundred fifty dollar prize. It, I didn't go in; I wasn't gonna dare embarrass myself. There was a lot of things, but you know, a lot of my friends were saying, you "Can't embarrass yourself, Comic Con. Everybody's chill here." I was like, "Uh, until you actually do embarrass yourself," because <laughs> a lot of people went that went, went into like you had two tries. A lot of people just like they would like drop. They would just try to scream, and then like they would like. I don't know, it's just like they would stop and like, ow, it hurt my throat. It was like, oh wow, you actually really would try hard to win this. But, and pretty much the prize, I think I mentioned the prize, but the prize was a $150 Capcom card. I was like, what? Nothing, I don't really like Capcom games, honestly. There's really nothing that is great by Capcom except Marvel vs. Capcom, of course. Um, and, I'm, I'm forgetting it. Holy crap, I just was thinking about it. Um, I have no clue, I forgot. But, it doesn't matter. I just think that, honestly, Capcom is not... Oh, Dead Rising. Oh, my God. How did I forget? Oh, yeah, and I also got, um... I think it was on Sunday morning. There was this... One of the producers for the game. He was only there for, like, 20 minutes. He was signing right out the Dead, uh... Dead, uh... The, uh... Dead Rising booth. And, uh, it was great. I got a poster with my name on it. I feel it's so great! So, pretty much, that's my Comic-Con experience. It was amazing. I'm going back next year for show... Um, and I'm also going to PAX East, I think. There's a, like a 70% chance I'm going to PAX East, so maybe I'll cover some of that. But, yeah, so the, it was a really fun experience. I would, I loved it. I, I never, I would hope that I could do it again in my life. Because everybody was there, it was awesome. Some of the costumes were over the chart. Amazing. Uh, there was this guy in a Aqua Team Hunger Force. He was Master Shake. He, he went on top of, uh, the, uh, Just Dance booth. Anyway, you can actually just play the game and dance and stuff. He went on to it and actually started dancing. I don't know if they, like, they captured his movements. I don't think it did. But, <laughs> it was awesome. He, it was funny. It was great. There was a guy that was uh, dressed up as a uh, Wonder Woman. A guy. He was fat. He had back hair and all that crap. It was, oh, it was so funny. My friend took a picture with him. And, uh, it was it was funny as hell. I liked it so much. It was. We saw the guy like four times throughout like Comic-Con. Uh... But, you know, Comic-Con was amazing. Um, and, did, and you know what? Leave a comment. Did anybody else go to Comic-Con? Has anybody else been to Comic-Con? Because if you... I can't really, like... I don't know. My mind's on a different planet. I, when I come into these commentaries, I'm like, Oh, I, I know what I'm going to talk about. Then I'm like, when it starts recording, I'm like, Oh, blank mind. <laughs> uh, but this gameplay, was, I think, was one of my best. I didn't, I didn't die that much. I was like 40 and 5 or something. It's probably around that, and, uh, oh, look at me stunning myself like a prig. Um, uh, you can say, oh, it's camping. I did camp a lot in this game. Uh, camped a lot in this main building. But I was, I was holding them back at their spawn. I was watching A, and I was watching B as many times as I